everyone welcome to our uh, marine knowledge channel this is your uh, sailor basha so today is also again a technical video so how to change a flow meter uh, on board ships so here uh, we got a damage malfunctioning flow meter for uh, generator engines so what is a flow meter it is nothing it just uh, counts the amount of fuel that is flowing towards the generator change the flow meter for uh, generator engines so we'll go and check the video This is the generator uh, fuel oil flow meter which is uh, malfunctioning and we try to repair it but it is out of repair so we decided to renew with uh, new flow meter. So before uh, in removing the flow meter we have to isolate the fuel oil supply to flow meter. So what we need to do is uh, we have to close the inlet outlet valve and before closing it you have to open the bypass valve so that there won't be any stoppage of fuel to the system so once you open the bypass valve you have to open very slowly and ensure there is not a pressure drop sudden pressure drop in fuel oil when it is going to the system so just open it very very slowly so our third engineer is uh, opening the bypass valve and once the bypass valve is opened and you find uh, fuel oil pressure is not fluctuating much and everything is okay then the next thing that you need to do is you have to close the inlet valve of flow meter so you can see the bypass valve is completely closed do not use any kind of uh, wheel spanner to tighten the fuel oil line valves until unless it is very necessary because if you use wheel spanner you are going to damage the valves so close the inlet valve of the flow meter first and uh, once you close the flow meter inlet valve then you can close the outlet of flow meter uh, then again in this case the flow meter is malfunctioning so how we know that uh, valve is holding so just all we can see is we can just uh, loosen the bolts and just uh, slack the flange so that if the valve is leaking the fuel oil will flow out and you can make out the valve is not holding so that is what uh, we can do in this case because uh, we cannot make out since the flow meter is not working so next thing is removing the flow meter so make sure uh, no oil splash out while loosening if it is splashing, splashing that means your uh, valve is not holding so now we had already removed slackened no oil coming out so now we are taking out the flow meter from place so once uh, the flow meter is out of place just uh, keep the flow meter uh, in safe place so that it don't get damaged because uh, we may need to send this flow meter for calibration or repair so just uh, clean the area flanges area so next before uh, putting the flow meter in use before connecting the flow meter all you need to do is you have to connect the battery to the unit so that the display will start functioning so 
most of the time we get uh, trouble in finding where the location of the battery is in this kind of uh, flow meters the battery is located inside the display unit which i will show you how to connect the battery so you just open the four screw take out the cover and you can see the battery inside the battery which is inbuilt in this battery means which is uh, in present in this unit is a changeable battery we can change it but it is not a, a normal AA or triple a battery it's a different type of battery where it is connected to a plug-in like plug so just the you need to take the point and plug it to the unit this is the orange color is the battery and this is the plug that you need to connect to the system it is like a hub only you just press it so it will go inside the slot and get and give the power to the display unit uh, okay yeah, i will show how to do it one more time little bit closely this is the unit where you need to connect the battery power so i am removing the battery plug again okay once i removed you can see there is a slot two pin slot just you press it normal it is like a normal uh, tv usb plug so you can see the display coming uh, into you can you can see the display coming and uh, that means battery is working and uh, the system is functioning so after uh, fixing this you can put back the cover in place and uh, you can fit the flow meter in place so after uh, this is the first thing that you need to do before fitting uh, in place because uh, after fitting if you uh, use the connect the battery and the power is not coming then again it will be a double job so always uh, do this before installing the flow meter in place so after tightening the top the second thing that you need to uh, be very careful is uh, direction of the flow meter it should be on the flow of the fuel oil it should not be the opposite way so that you have to keep it in mind so how you know that uh, the flow meter is incorrect it is very easy you can see the flow direction on the flow meter body you can see the body arrow mark showing upwards that means the flow will be from bottom to top so that is what uh, we have to keep it in mind then uh, just check the flanges are okay everything is clean then you can install the flow meter in place so main thing the next thing that you need to be very careful is uh, keeping a gasket and keeping a correct gasket you cannot uh, put a very thin gasket you can see the flow direction so choose a proper gasket it should not be very thin or it should not be very thick if it is very thin the gasket can break and if it is very thick the uh, you cannot install the flange means a flow meter in place because uh, yeah, the thickness of the gasket will obstruct so as I say always whenever you use the bolt proper usage of proper application of anti seizer compound all those things you have to fit and uh, keep it properly tighten it in a diagonal way so mm, that's all nothing much uh, to look into it only thing is uh, your uh, valve should hold for removing and you have to fix the battery and you have to check the direction before installation and these three things are uh, very important for changing the flow meter and mainly of course gasket is very needed because if the gasket fails again you have to do a double job so now we are installed and we are uh, putting the flow meter in place in service so open the outlet of flow meter first and then you can open the inlet valve of the flow meter outlet is completely opened then open the uh, inlet once you open the inlet you can see the 
flow counters running and close the bypass valve so i believe this video must have given you some information about uh, how to remove and reinstall flow meter thanks for watching thank you all keep supporting bye